Time now for sports with Tom Wiley. And welcome back. All summer long, the McLaughlin Center has been off limits to the public while work was done to renovate the gym at the University of Providence. But today, for the first time, they allowed media inside for a sneak peek. A year ago, when Dave Gant walked onto the campus at the University of Great Falls, something struck him. And it, nothing had changed. When I was here for my interview last year, it looked the same as it did when I was a student. Since it was constructed in 1965, the gym at the McLaughlin Center went largely unchanged for over 60 years until this summer, when this turned into this. Yeah, it's a relief that, first of all, the building's still standing after all the nails were pounded and paint was splashed around and blowing dust out of here, knocking the balls into the corner that fell out of the ceiling after we blew the dust down. <laughs> the process started when the school changed its colors and its name to the University of Providence. Then once you have those pieces, you can start moving forward with, okay, what are we doing with our gym? We sat down um, and met multiple times of every little thing that needed to be changed, you know, um, from, you know, little things like the baseboards, you know, getting those painted just along the edge of the, the gym to obviously a big court design. New additions include a brand new floor, fresh graphics throughout the arena, air conditioning in the gym itself, new lights overhead, and the Little Belt Mountains stained directly onto the floor. In the past, a lot of times our athletes have walked into other gyms and said, why don't we have this nice stuff? Um, we want to be the school where kids walk in here and see our gym and say, why don't we have a court that looks like that? Um, so we really want to do something special um, with it, and I think we are able to do that, and we're really excited for people to come see it. The gym will get its first use of the season this weekend when the Argos volleyball team hosts a six-team tournament for its first home action of the season. It's absolutely incredible. This is probably the nicest gym I've played in, and I've played in a lot of gyms. And so, like, it's really cool seeing how this all came together, and especially all the new colors and all our new gear. It's really cool. It looks really nice. Uh, the day we stepped on the court was pretty awesome. Uh, we were really worried about scuffing up the floor with our shoes or <laughs> ball carts or anything, but uh, it's been really fun. I, just looking around and, you know, I think all the athletes and all the coaches were taking such a, you know, more, a bigger sense of pride in what we're doing and how we're doing things. 